Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I want to talk about how to make any subject transparent. Stay with me and I'll show you. Okay, here we have a beautiful image of our apple. And first let me unlock the background layer and duplicate it with holding out or option key to have the original one for before and after. And let's select the subject, in our case the apple, to a new layer. You can use any preferred method, object selection tool or quick selection tool. I prefer to use a pen tool. I'm a little bit old school. Okay, I, I will increase the speed a little bit because it's too boring. Okay, we're done with the pen tool. Now right click. Make selection, feather radius 1 pixel is good enough, click OK and let's copy this selection to a new layer, right click, layer via copy, let's drag it to top layer, OK. Now let's duplicate this layer again and I'll make these two layers smart objects, good. Now we have to, let's disable these two layers, we have to remove the apple from the original layer, right click, select pixel, go to the original layer and click delete, let's disable also this layer, good. Now <laughs> we have to fill this area with content aware, for that I will increase a little bit the selection. Maybe something like this. Good. Right click, content aware fill. Okay, let's delete this part of the leaf. Also, this part. Let's see. I think it's good enough. Click OK. Good. I'll merge these two layers. And now with constant, we can adjust a little bit here and there. I think it's good enough. Let's see with the apple and without the apple. I think it's perfect. Now, go to the upper apple and let's desaturate the layer. Image, adjustment, hue and saturation and decrease the saturation to minimum. Good. And now let's change the blend mode to screen. Okay. I'll disable the bottom apple for now. Now let's go to, again to image adjustment levels and let's adjust the levels a little bit. I think it's good enough. It looks like transparent. Okay. Now let's pick the elliptical tool and make a mask maybe somewhere here okay click the mask button now let's copy the mask to the bottom apple with holding out or option key and invert the mask with control command i let's enable this layer and now we have half of the apple not transparent and the other half transparent now I have this image, it's a slice of the apple, let's drag it, I will also put the link to this image in the description, let's drag it to the main image and put the layer between the two apples layer, okay, with control command T, let's change the shape of the slice and paste it 
between the two apple layers. You have to be very gentle. Right click and choose warp. Good. And I think it's good enough. Maybe a little bit here. Let's see. Okay, click enter. Now this device it's too bright. I'll make the layer smart object. And let's make a new levels adjustment layer. And click this button to affect only the layer below. Let's decrease the whites a little bit. Okay. And let's make another adjustment layer, this time hue and saturation. Again, this button to affect on the layer below. And let's decrease the saturation a little bit. To make looks a little bit natural. Okay, good. And I think we're almost ready. Let's see before and after. Now, when I see these water drops, I remember that I have a very cool water splash brush. I'll put the link to the brush in the description. Let me check. Yeah, water brush. Okay, let's pick the perfect one. No. Okay, I think that this is good enough. Maybe something like this with a white color, of course. And on a new empty layer. Click OK. I think it's good, but the whites become from the upper left of the image. That's why with Control Command T, I'll flip the image and rotate it maybe something like this. Let's adjust the size. I think it's good enough. Click enter. Let's return to the general soft brush. Okay. I think it's good, but maybe this part has to be a little bit darker because it's in the shadow area. Let's make new Levels adjustment layer. Again, this button to affect on the layer below. And let's decrease a little bit the whiteness. Now with black color, click on the mask of the layer, adjustment layer. And let's turn back the whites here. Okay, let's see. Do you see this part? becomes a little bit darker because of the shadow area. Okay, I think it's very good. Let's see before and after. Let me zoom a little bit. Before and after. This tutorial looks a little bit advanced, but if you follow the steps carefully, you will not problem to do it. Thanks for watching. Ask me anything in the comment section. Like and subscribe for more videos and see you soon.